Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're friends. We're males. AI told us to list the seven rules to best male friendship. Uh, so we're going to give it a shot. Definitively. But first, we're going to give you a random disturbing fact. If you lose a thumb, surgeons can now replace it with one of your toes. What? You I, heard it here. You can put your toe. There's no extra thumb on the human body. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> the toe is the next closest body part that is similar enough to use as a replacement. Quote, once they have the toe off and the hand prepped, the transfer requires the use of micro microscopes to reattach the delicate corresponding nerves, vessels, tendons, and skin. Surgeons must connect the muscles used to flex and extend, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I believe it, you can do it. Uh, Man. You gotta attach two nerves so that the feeling from the toe communicates with the former thumb's nerve. Wow. And I've then got, you've got- I have a toe-like finger. I mean, you have a finger-like toe. Then you got a toe thumb. But I mean, thumbs are, thumbs are very handy. No pun intended. So uh, if you lose one, I don't know, then what do you put down there where the big toe was? And is it the big toe? Somebody else's thumb. My second toe is longer than my big toe. Mm -hmm. You gotta get a thumb donor. I think I would say, you know what, put my second toe there. And not have a second toe. Not have a second toe. How about you get rid of the pinky? Because you don't really need the pinky. You put make that the middle put toe. The pinky. Take this middle toe, make the big toe, and then make the big toe the thumb. Okay. That's a lot of surgeries. Yeah. Probably not worth it. My my my. I just put a pig. My toe, toe right doesn't here. bend very well. Put a pig because I broke it, and both of them, and now both of them like are gonna like. When did you break your thumb? Toe. You took. Oh yeah, I know when you broke it. You got you threw a tantrum at the basketball game and you kicked the bleachers when they put you on the bench. Yeah, right. And then they put you right back in. <laughs> uh, but for some reason, my left toe. So uh, your tantrum worked. It worked. My left toe doesn't bend as well either. So it just would be it. It would be more of this situation. Okay. And shorter. Seven rules I don't want for that. best male friendship. Um, hmm. I, I like the fact that artificial intelligence thought this would be something that 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 we could talk uh -huh, about. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I, I think hmm. Rules, rules, rules is a tough word. So first of all, I'm gonna throw guidelines. some. I'm gonna throw some things out that are just like guidelines, and then we might make them into rules. Like uh, speak the same language. All okay. right. Yeah, that's pretty. Is that like, should that be a rule? I mean. Attempt to speak the same language. Attempt to speak the same language? Well, because it, you might make friends with someone who ha speaks a different language and you it may become a best friendship, but you re but you really need to try to be speaking the same language. Maybe it's attempt to speak the best, the same language or get a really good interpreter. Yeah, but then, and. Or a really good app. Now, would you would you rather date someone who spoke a different language or yes. be friends with somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it it seems exciting I'm, I'm just when kidding. like you have to communicate non verbally. You know that that's it's, it seems a lot more exciting yeah. for a romantic relationship than it does for just well a, define a friendship. date uh, because you know. If you're dating and you you go out to dinner, you're yeah, having yeah, yeah. conversations, but there's, but there's, that becomes difficult. If date just means something else, then it's fine, you know. No, it, I'm I'm talking about the whole thing, all of it included. Is even the date is like is like a little dance of uh, chemistry. But I think what he's like, saying is that broken English works well in some circumstances, <laughs> right? But maybe even maybe even better. Than fluent English in certain circumstances, but like and I think over that, dinner when you really get and to I know somebody, I don't want to make this an English centric conversation. It sounds like you're doing it. It's just no broken any any language. I'm only saying that because I speak context. English and I only speak English. You know? Right, I only speak English because because uh, you're an American, no, just like me. Well, that's that's because um, I mean, yeah, that's the language that I know. So that's 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 one out there. Attempt to speak the same language or get a good app or a translator. Mm -hmm. That's pretty safe. I like that. That's good for male friendship. What do you think about what do you think about male friendship uh, back massages? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you do you think that should be a part of the equation? Because you know, there's always the one guy in every group who just comes up to everybody and he's like, "Hey, you look, you look tense, man. 
you know, there's always one in every group, and you want that to be your best friend because you know I don't do that for you, you don't do that for me. Like we no. don't, we don't really massage each other. But I mean, keep trying. I mean, but do you think this is a good idea? Would you rather well, the translator a higher, do it? A little higher. The interpreter could do it. I'm kind of bony, ain't I? Maybe you get. Maybe this is it. Minimize the amount of back massages from each other. But comma maximize. No comma. Potentially make the, your interpreter also a masseuse. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're not speaking very well to each other and you've got the interpreter, if that person could also be a masseuse, that yeah, you that's, massage that's both superior. of you at different times. Twinkie, yeah. you got all that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I was gonna say he, said, he was like, yes. I, <laughs> He's just like, yes, I. I was yes, gonna I say that, that you you <laughs> or you, you massage each other, but. But you don't. But don't you don't look like it. you enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't admit you enjoy it. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. But I that. like this better. Minimize the amount of back massages. No. What? We didn't say that. I did. We said minimize the amount from of each yeah, other. Yeah. From each other. No. It's either. Don't act like you like back massages from each other. Okay. That's. I'm. I'm willing to go there. Or make your interpreter. A, a masseuse. Yeah. What, we, well, what happens if you act like only, you like the massage? It might turn into more than friendship. Oh, right. I don't. I didn't. Um, so you bury it deep, deep down inside. Yeah. No, it's just okay. you want to keep it platonic. Got it's, it. It's um like, I mean, I'd like to say I could just enjoy that massage that he just gave me, but I couldn't. Yeah. You George because, Costanza's because, man. Because, be, yeah, because of um, you know, I guess things I need to get over. Yeah, things you need to go talk to your therapist about. You know. Um, so it's, it's fine. Just I, I guess just keep giving me a back massage until I start enjoying it. Okay. What do you think about matching tattoos? We've never given each other back massage. Do you think friends, best male friends, should get matching tattoos or just matching rings? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because really, friendship ring. So I mean, which one should they have? My wife also has this ring. My wife is getting one, but. She hasn't been fitted for it. Um, so, I think maybe you should. Rules for best male friend. I, I think uh, I don't think you have to get a matching tattoo. Our tattoos aren't matching, but they're like they're matching in, in the same place. Yeah. So I guess there's that. Maybe the rule is just discuss discuss matching tattoos. We're not telling you whether or not you need to get them or not, but we do feel strongly that you need to consider it and discuss it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the nature of uh, discuss matching tattoos. If you can't or talk rings. about it, or rings. If you can't talk about it, and maybe you disagree, or maybe you both, neither one of you want it. But if you can't talk about it, then that's a problem. Right. So yeah. Okay, so we're talk living about in a world matching tattoos. where you like the massage, but you should not say that you like it. But you should <laughs> talk about the tattoo and and. Red, and be vulnerable about yes. how you feel about the tattoos. Right, yes. I just want to. Okay, great, great, great. You're completely tracking. Great, great. Now I've gotten I've gotten a professional massage from from a male. I don't always uh, yeah. request the female. Right, right. Um, because I'm usually not happy with the pressure that you know. The, oh, you're saying now that female masseuses can offer you pressure? Hold that's on, you're not. Hold on, you're saying that a woman. Is that what you're saying? Uh, the woman's massage is weak. women aren't strong enough? Is that what you're saying? Um, I'm, I'm. <laughs> wow. Man. I love all um, people. Have you had a Thai massage? Because let me tell you, if you want to be an yeah. extreme I had a woman freaking walk on my pain. Back. Yeah. Stevie, I've had it all. Oh, I've, Lord. I've had, I've had. He had a four-hander. I had a four-hander. I'm sorry, what? He had a four-hander at the proper. I had a, oh, Is man. Is that what they call it? Yeah, there were four hands, and there was a but lot, it, and a lot of oil. A, a trip to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm, I'm still okay. So we only have three rules. I, I have another one. Steak night. <laughs> steak night. Yeah. Consider steak night. So no, let's just say have a steak night. Let's be, but we can right, be authoritative. Definitely do steak night. Now here's why. Now you can, once a month. Steak night, not knife. That was so confusing because I also heard knife, and then you said do it once a month, and that 
became also very confusing. Steak night. I don't know if you guys were sharing a set yeah, okay, of steak so nights. Let me, okay, let me just explain this. So, <laughs> you know, my my oldest son, who's 18 now. Um, male. Male. Recently, uh, I wasn't there for this, but I got home and the, and the grill was like, it, the the grilling area was looked like somebody had not taken care of it well and had not cleaned up, and I was like, "What happened out here?" Yeah, in that exact voice. No, I didn't say that. Um, and Lot was like, "Oh, me and the boys had steak night." I was like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. We got two big T bones." And he and his like three other friends, they bought two big T bones and then grilled them and they ate them together. That's a good idea, man. And then he was like. You and your boys didn't have steak night? <laughs> and I was like, man, you little spoiled brat. Of course I'd have steak night in the early 90s in North Carolina. Like, we, if we got steak, dad would do a steak like maybe once a month, it was a big deal. I wasn't taking my high school money that I didn't have and going to the grocery store and getting steak with my no, friends, man. boy. No, I didn't have a steak until but I, do I had think my job. But I do think that steak night it really, it seems like it was a, a, a bonding experience for them. It's like going back to like carnal roots of like going out onto the plains and like yeah. taking down a Wait, antelope. so you guys have not had this together, but you are taking the suggestion from Locke who has done yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, we think y'all should do what my, I, I my talked to him about does. it last night when I dropped off the uh, pound cake at your house. Oh, thanks for bringing the pound cake. Did you eat any of the pound cake? I did. I was in therapy when you came by. I know, I know. Uh, but I, I got out family. of therapy the first thing I did. I didn't even speak to my family. I went straight for the pound cake. Lando and Lincoln's birthdays are within two two weeks of each other, exactly. And uh, Nana always makes a pound cake for the kids and mails it out. And we were like, Nana, just send one pound cake for both of them. Get, I get home. Don't tell her that. Well, that's what I told her. It doesn't matter. Good. She sent two pound cakes. Man, it's so good. One was peanut butter and one was chocolate. They're like, I mean, two huge pound cakes in a box. I had the chocolate the one, same but it was So we chopped the, them both up and we took touching some of it over butter. to the McLaughlin's. So you're not putting officially on the list that you should give your best male friend a pound cake because no. you think steak night sounds Ooh, that's like that's pretty cooler, good. We gotta get that. to seven though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I would say. I'd I would say, say once say, a year, give half a pound cake to your no, best No, 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 no. Uh, I will say, to go on with the steak night though, I will say like, meant a lot. I think camping is good. But, I also think that, but I do, the pound, when, when you texted me last night, when I was about to go into therapy, and you said, hey, we've got some pound cake, Nana's pound cake, would you like me to bring it over? I was like, wow, this feels like such a loving action. That's right, that's right. So I think number rule number five is, once a year, give your best friend half a pound cake. Share a pound cake. Or one pound cake every two years. Share your Nana's pound cake. As long as the ratio is one pound cake for every two years. Um, think about, here's another one. Uh -huh. What? I mean, you haven't typed that one. What's going on over there? But He's he not a stenographer. Add, he added a nice addendum to number four, which you haven't acknowledged. Oh, they maybe not... invite the interpreter and the masseuse, yeah. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. And if they're the same person, even better. Um, what was I saying? Well, now once a year, give your best friend half a pound cake, or once a year, Na say Nana's or one uh, Nana's pound cake, or one every two years. Yeah, give your best friend half of. I think it can just be a pound cake because when your Nana's gone, I still want you to send me half a pound cake. Well, no one's going to be making it. Dang it. Uh, what was I saying though? I was off to. He said, "Here's another one." Camping. 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 <laughs> Consider, I thought camp consider camping. Consider camping, <laughs> but you don't want. But you don't. And one, one don't want the, to be defended. One of the things that I've tried over the years, as I've been like making friends, is to like yeah. tell tell people, like, hey, I I I want to be your friend. I think we could be friends. That really doesn't work. Hold on, wow. you've done that. I think we can be friends. Who did you tell that to? Yeah, you know, like there's a song like, Why Can't We Be Friends? And then there's like another song that's like, I wanna. I think maybe this might be rule number seven. L just let it happen naturally. Don't force anything. Yeah. Yeah. Rich, you just, re you interpret you just... that as reject friendship from others. I think it's just let it happen naturally. Don't force it. But, but 
but think about your feelings. Find a way to share your feelings that isn't awkward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go Find through. a way to share your feelings. <laughs> he got it, he got it, he got it. Let it happen naturally, don't force it. Also, find a way to share your feelings yeah. without being awkward. Without being awkward. Like, use me as a negative example. Without being awkward. But I've if also, it is awkward, don't stop. I've also talked about on our podcast, breaking up with friends. Also something that I don't it's Something you in. shouldn't do. Like I literally broke up with a friend of mine, told him I couldn't be his friend anymore. When you could have just stopped. And he didn't friend. do anything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't feel like I had room in my life to be the friend that I thought he needed, so I told him I was out. Uh, no, and well, to be specific, the dude sent a text that was like, hey man, I miss hanging out or something like that, right? He said, just think, no, he said, hey and man, it's been a while, just thinking of you. Just thinking of you, and you responded with, I'm not, I can't be your friend anymore. <laughs> well, it was a long paragraph. <sighs> oh man, and, only Link would do that. And then, I mean, I went through the response on your biscuits, and then like, Months later, I saw him. And he was like. And I talked to him in a, in a restaurant. And it was a bit awkward. Hey, because I, know, I, had, I know we're not friends anymore. Because I had broken up with him. I know we're not friends anymore, and then but we I, can still but talk. I, I did apologize for breaking up with him, and but we didn't get back together. Mm. Good. And that friend was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. Okay, we're gonna, seven well, rules. So we're going to read through all these, but we do want to remind you to get caught up on Mythical Kitchen. They're doing amazing stuff over there, and you should really watch the the, the, the most recent Last Meals on Mythical Kitchen because yep. things get deep. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even dark. We're, we're fans of that. Okay, seven rules for best male friendship. And you know what? Don't, limit, don't limit this to male friendships because... Um, this is AI's fault. This could be any friend. Making this like all gender specific. Seven it's rules. Not our good. doing. We're good. You, you can have Seven rules friend. for best friendships. <laughs> Number one, attempt to speak the same language or get a good app and or translator. Mm. Rule number two, don't pretend you like back massages from each other. Mm -hmm. What? No, it's... <laughs> I think you do pretend. Pretend, pretend, pretend you don't. Pretend like. you oh, don't oh, oh, like. Yeah, pretend, pretend you don't. Pretend you like. don't like back massages from each other. Potentially make your interpreter a good masseuse. Yeah. Number three, talk about matching tattoos or rings. Yeah. Rule number four, <laughs> steak night once a month. Maybe invite the interpreter slash masseuse. <laughs> Rule number five, once a year, give your best friend half of a pound cake or one every two years. Yeah. Especially if you have a Nana. Right. And number six, consider camping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And number seven, several rules all in one. Let it happen naturally. Don't force it. Also, find a way to share your feelings without being awkward. See link for negative examples. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. This is good. Y'all need to carve this in some stone tablets. Or write it in mashed potatoes, maybe. <laughs>